My name is Brett Olson, and I am a safety application engineer with SICK. Today we are going to be talking about the Relay Time 1 safety relay. On the left, I have hooked up a set of DTEC 4 light curtains, with a 4-pin cable coming out of that going with flying leads. On the wire terminals, I have hooked up the A1 and A2 terminal to 24 volts and 0 volts respectively. In the S1 and R1 wire terminals, I have put a jumper in there for an automatic reset. For the I1 and I2 wire terminals, I have hooked up both of those to the OSSD wires of the 4-pin cable. On the right side of the Relay Time 1, you can see there's a panel of dip switches. They will all be set to zero, pushed to the right. When you want to turn them on for a time delay, you have to push them to the left with a small screwdriver. You always have to have the CS dip switch pushed to the left. Then you will see you can either go with an electrical mechanical switch or an OSSD. Since I'm using the DTEC4, I will be going with the OSSD. The next three are for scale. The scale stands for which line of time you want to go with. I'm going to go with the middle one. The last four switches determine what time you will be having for your time delay. I'm going to go with one second. Now I will turn the power on. So the light curtain is now on and everything is green. When you enter the safety field, the enabling switches go off immediately and one of the safe outputs is delayed by one second. If you have any further questions, please contact your sick rep or safety MAE. Thank you.